talking to Shrabona Das, who is a com communications consultant, uh, who is currently handling the communications at Shilproot. So Shrabona, to start off, could you tell us more about the Shilproot initiative and how it started? Okay, sure, I would. But firstly, thank you so much for having me and for, uh, you know, even thinking of supporting the Shilproot. Um, how the Shilproot was conceived or conceptualized is by a group of craft part a craft uh, patriots, so we call it them. People who understand that the pandemic and the impact of the pandemic has been not only on um, every basic human, be every average human being, and uh, like you and me, but it has also been extremely deeply, deeply impactful on a certain community which is rather marginalized, which is our Indian artisans and craftspeople, right? So I think um, the reason, the, the, the simile or the example I like to give is, you know, we all see the plight of the farmer because if I don't get my dal and rice and vegetables in my house, it impacts me, right? We all see the plight of, um, you know, the, the workers in the, you know, essential services because if my electricity goes out in my home or my internet doesn't work, I'll be the first one up in arms saying, hey, I didn't get X, Y, Z. But what we don't see is there are certain, these communities which are almost invisible, which is thousands of years of heritage, thousands of years of artistry and Indian tradition, which absolutely have no place to go to sell their wares. Yeah. So how it started was a realization. This initiative is by the Titan Company Limited. Uh, their CSR division is backing this entire initiative. And I think as all of us know, Titan as a brand is known for philanthropic work, not today, but for the last hundreds of many hundreds of years. Um, Titan Company Limited, uh, when they conceptualize this entire online exhibition, um, in association with the social venture partners who are really the executors of the plan. Social venture partners is a group of uh, people who are passionate about crafts and arts. Uh, many of them have day jobs, so we speak, so we say. They have their own lives. They work in different corporates and it is, not, it is all voluntary work. So they are, uh, you know, they've been around for a while. They're headquartered in Bangalore and so is, you know, the the Titan uh, company, as you know, the brand. So it's like a perfect marriage or meeting of minds. Uh, the third party, the third partner, I would say, is a team of wonderful, wonderful craft and art curators, okay, uh, called Smita Murti and Shweta Shitar, who have been working with the Ants Cooperative, or the Ant, which, is, which has been working in the Northeast sector for many, many years, right? So they are, uh, I would say, the artisan partners. They are the artisan coordinators. They are the sourcing partners, right? And they go by the name of Crafting Futures. Now, when they decided to take this project, you know, a very ambitious project online, the only reason is because this is traditionally the festive season is when the artisans, you know, set out from their homes, whether in Himachal or in Assam or in, uh, you know, the... Uh, backwaters of, near the backwaters of Kerala or Tamil Nadu, Bengal, with their giant tin trunks. And they leave their homes for traditionally a month or two. And they come back and this is the only season where they make money, before the winter sets in. So pre the Sera to the beginning of December is the season really, till after Diwali. And can you imagine the rest of the year they live off this money? Right? So Unfortunately, what has happened is with the pandemic and the impact on travel, it's had a much bigger impact on these very simple people who are so skilled and so trained, but they do not have the wherewithal to go digital. A couple of them do, most of them do not. So the concept of the shilp route, okay, came about when a shilp, I hope you know the meat, it means kala or art or shilpa, you know, it comes from crafts. And the root or the route uh, refers to the silk route. You know, it's a little bit of a pun on the famous term, which brought, um, you know, trade to India, right? Um, 
and took Indian silks and Indian indigo and Indian arts and crafts out to the world by ship, which used to take years, in fact, for the to reach. Unfortunately, the pandemic has re rendered these craftsmen and artisans almost as help helpless, with very little access to the dig to digital uh, media and even the internet. We have one artisan group from uh, Baramula in Kashmir who does not, does not have more than 2G. We have another group in Nagaland, which has never stepped out of Nagaland. They haven't stepped out. It's just somebody who's reached out, bought their beautiful wares and brought it to the metro cities, right? So the idea was to bring together this group and this is a pilot project, okay, for a month only. We kicked off on 31st of October and it carries on till the end of November. So that's November 30th. I'm going to reiterate that date. So there's two weeks to go. I came on as a communications consultant because I am also passionate about arts, crafts, social media, the digital world. And, uh, you know, I've really spent most of my uh, working years working in these fields. Um, the Shilp route means a lot to me because it's, it's one, a, firstly a great privilege to be chosen as a craft patriot myself. Uh, it's an honor to be working with uh, a brand such as Titan which is selflessly and, uh, you know, doing a lot of groundwork. And I think it, all you have to do is, I think, for your audience out there is to look up and look for Titan CSR initiatives, right? Titan Company Limited. They're working in upskilling. They're working in empowerment. They're working in providing livelihood. And this is something that they've been doing for years, not just pandemic, right? This is really a, an ambitious experiment. experiment. And... There is very little money that is going into it. Every penny that is coming in in terms of sales, where people can go to a link, they can click, they can buy, goes straight to the artisans. So the, when you ask me what's really the object, that's the, that's the genesis of it. And the, and the objective, the end objective really is to reduce the role of the middleman, reduce, give the artisan their fair share, because they are the ones who spend six months making a shawl and one month making a cushion cover, which adorns our living rooms and our, you know, our bedrooms. And they are the ones who spend years making that one sari that we buy and we gift and we take pictures of and we are so proud of. And we are happy to pay that kind of price because, you know, we believe that it's authentic. Unfortunately, the artisan does not leave, receive the entire amount. Unfortunately, there are enough fakes out there. So this was an initiative which was conceptualized to really reach this money where it's needed, which is straight into the artisan's bank account. And they fulfill the order through a backend system. The our partner for this is e-commerce platform GoCoop. GoCoop or GoCoop as it's called by most people. GoCoop has been in this work. They are the foremost um, proponents of um, artisan work. And they have very kindly uh, created a page called the Shilp Route on the Cocoop e-commerce site. And this page is going to be up and live till the end of this month, which is till November 30th, midnight. Now, everything that you can do to, amongst the student community, is to share, to popularize, to, you know, to, to make people just awareness, awareness about our crafts, our traditions, you know, it's cool to be Indian everywhere except in India. I'm sure you know that, right? There are multiple brands which sourced from us. I'm not naming any, nothing wrong. But they've been sourcing Indian textiles and Indian handicrafts. And, uh, you know, Indian, right from a floor cushion to a carpet to a curtain in certain big branded stores in other countries are all made in India and Pakistan and Bangladesh. I'm sure that many, many of us know that. Our parents will know it. Your parents rather, not mine, but your parents would know it. So I think it's time for us to give back. And this is one way to give back because we are all at home, number one, right? The, the communication strategy that we came up with, that I came up with with my team is that, you know, we are anyway spending 90% of our time at home these days. You know, exactly what you're doing right now, I do. And my 11-year-old does it too. Because, you know, she's, she doesn't go out to play. If she goes out to play, it's on the passageway of the apartment. 
right? School is within the four walls. College is within the four walls. Home, work, office. The home suddenly is so important for us. And while we can buy sarees and while we can buy, you know, jewelry, which we will, which we will, we will continue to do so. But uh, we also need, have seen a growing rise in, uh, you know, buying appliances. We have seen a growing rise in uh, home uh, decor, home, ref you know, re upcycling, refurbishing. The word, I mean, I just, I'll give you an example. I go down to my apartment building, there are 95 apartments. And every time I go to pick up a delivery of Swiggy Core or Dunzo in Bangalore, we use a lot of Dunzo. And I go down and the only thing I see is large boxes, which really look like something's coming in for the house. So on the one side, there's your groceries, there's your milk, your vegetables, your fruit, your essentials, so to speak. And the other is everything for the house. Because the home is everything now. Our kids are not going back to school or college. Not in a hurry, right? Not till next year. You guys are not getting to interact. The student community is not getting to live a normal, natural life. But you are the ones who are the future. You are the ones who are savvy digitally. You are the ones who have access to apps. You know, you probably order for your parents. You order your own pizza. You order your... Um, you know, you make decisions, you suddenly, you are helping mom and dad make decisions, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, about what's being bought, what's being shopped for. Like, you know, my 11 year old makes my shopping list and she mails it to me, the weekly shopping list. She does the shopping list. It includes certain things that she needs and certain things that we need for the house. And she mails it to me and I get it on my phone. And then I tap and I place the order on Big Basket or Amazon or whatever it is, right? Um, as a conscious choice, uh, vocal for local is another thing that we would like to stress on over here. And while there is always convenience, there is also the organic farmer, there is also the sustainable producer, right? And I'm fully for them, okay? So I, I support them, I order from them, I buy for them from them. And I think there are many people out there like us. So through the route, the communication route that we took is to create a team of craft and arts lovers called the Craft Patriots. And you can see them on our Instagram page, right? Which is The Shilp Root, T-H-E-S-H-I-L-P-R-O-U-T-E, The Shilp Root. And it's completely organic following. Uh, there is no money being spent on that. It is just, uh, I think, the interest and um, regard and... and uh, love from a lot of people who really want to step out there and make a difference, but they can do it from here, from the phone, right? So at the click of a mouse or a click of your you know, phone, you can just click on the links that you see and share, share widely. Uh, we are now, Facebook created a page for us, you know, an organic page. Uh, we are not going to be populating that too much because that is not our uh, strategy. Our strategy is to evangelize this entire movement called the Shilp Root through craft patriots. Who is a craft patriot? A craft patriot is anyone who uh, believes and trusts artisans, who uh, appreciates and enjoys their work, who shops for friends and family, not necessary for Dasera and Diwali, but also for Christmas, also for birthdays, also for anniversaries. You know, make in India, be Indian, buy Indian, Local for vocal, these are these can be more than just names and hashtags, right? And I think the future generation that is generation generation U, we used to be generation X, you are generation something else, I'm not very sure. Um, but what you can do is really help us to evangelize this, right? Share it with your friends, put it up on your YouTube channels, put it up on your, uh, I know that uh, Facebook is for oldies and uh, Insta is for um people in the arts and crafts and you know you guys have a different way of reaching out there but uh, it's an honor and privilege because most of us have children your age uh, you know i happen to be your your father's classmate from school so that really made me feel very very old at the moment but um, still a craft patriot we have craft patriots who are 35 years old and we have craft patriots who are in their late 60 in the 60 60 plus 
what unites them is a love for India, a love for Indian artisans, craft. And I think also a very consumer first, customer first understanding and an insight, right? The last piece I'd just like to leave you with is the insight which I share. What are we looking for today? You know, we are being bombarded. We are being bombarded. I mean, I, I there are times I just switch, switch the phone off. I have two phones, two numbers, uh, two handles, three handles myself on, on social media, on Insta. You know, I have LinkedIn. I have, there are so many social media platforms and I am being bombarded. I am talking to you. I know that I will be getting ads for all the things that we are talking about because my phone is on, right? I'm sure you know how that works. Uh, to catch att the attention of people who really, really want to make a difference today is a tough call, but we've taken it as a challenge and um, it's helping. It's helping to have a completely organic way of marketing. Um, and I'm using this word marketing with a lot of pride because there is no money that anybody gets for promoting this, right? When I say the craft patriot, they get no money. They do it for a love of craft of curb. and there are many you will see on the insta page there are many you will not even see there are 200 of them all over india who are relentlessly working on this project together some do not want their pictures in social media some do not want but they are working with their friends their relatives their whatsapp group their building communities all the various they teach you know their teachers there are uh, um, corporates people from corporates there are you know, retired uh, CEOs. Um, we have a dancer, we have a photographer, fashion photographer. Uh, we have um, people from interior, the, the field of interiors and design. We have a journalist, Vasanti Hari Prakash. Um, you know, a voice, a radio voice, she's called. A voice of reason and a voice with challenges. These are the kind of people who are craft patriots who wear, flaunt, with pride, our Indian heritage. And that's the whole intention of this campaign. Uh, no money comes to us, the money goes straight to the artisans. And that is what I would love for all of you to share, to go out there. I know you're gonna put the link, you're gonna put whatever you need to put. That's really it for me. I am sorry, but I can go on about the Shilpur forever, but I do think I should stop now. So firstly, I'd like to thank you for uh, being part of this initiative, I think it's a great initiative, especially by Titan, you know, help these artisans who, who might not uh, be getting the help uh, right now. So as you mentioned that uh, uh, we're the generation for tomorrow, how do you think students can, you know, contribute to be part of activities like these, as they will also be uh, the craft patriots of tomorrow? What do you think? Uh, of course you know, they are. Yeah, of course yeah. they are. Like I said, students are the decision makers. Uh, teenagers, if my 11 year old makes a decision and she swipes on the app with me and she tells me, Ma, I think these cushion covers would be nice. May I please have, you know, a budget to shop? Our kids are smart, right? May I please have a budget? Okay. I don't believe that this color is right. I love your logo, she says. And she says, I'm 11, so I know I'm allowed, allowed to have my own social handles. If I was 15, I would have shared it. Now, that to me is the voice of the future, future craft patriot, right? Craft patriot doesn't just mean someone who puts up nice looking pictures. No. Each and every craft patriot is shopping. They are buying for themselves. They are buying for their family. They are buying for their, you know, their, their enterprises. They're shopping for Christmas uh, because we are not getting to see our colleagues. The least you can do is send a little hamper and send a little love their way. For you to know, uh, we are doing international shipping as well. We have a tie up. In shipping within India, shipping costs are being borne by the, the, the initiative. So till November 30th, anything that you buy from the Shilp route within India is shipped absolutely free. So your cost, what you see on the on the website on the landing page uh, plus of course taxes which we are bound to pay the government right um, orders go straight to the artisan 
come ship to you at no extra cost right and the response has been wonderful but we still have two weeks to go and diwali is not the end of it there's another consumer insight i'd like to share with you and i think the next two weeks because i have friends who are sending picking up things for their children studying in the us right who are in university there okay and they're shopping for them and their friends because you know this diwali no one's going to meet in this christmas no one's coming home for christmas break or spring spring break to india at least right so it's like a warm hug isn't it it's like a warm hug from india to the rest of the world it's a warm hug from me to my cousin in calcutta it's a warm hug from you to your you know buddy who's who may have been in school with you but who's now living in another city uh, you know you want to send him something for his birthday uh, it's very cool to be indian that's what i want to say yeah that sounds great 